Hello there and welcome to another laptop retrospective video and today we're going to be looking at an interesting little conundrum called screen wobble on the Surface Book 2. In the original Surface Book many users reported a significant amount of screen wobble. So what I have set up in this terrible experiment in terms of scientific accuracy but we're going to give it a shot is I have marked off the edge of the Surface Book with a set of painter's tape and I have uh, viced a small ruler and this one is graduated at the top uh, in centimeters and I have done my absolute best to align the edge of the surface book with the seven centimeter line. So depending on how much shape we see backward and forward on the camera we will be able to I'll make an accurate judgment. Well, how much screen wobble are we actually talking about? And there's a few different things that we're going to do to see how much movement uh, we can generate. So what I'm going to do is just start off with a series of taps and touches on the screen that we would normally do to, say, navigate around a set of browser tabs. And these should give us an idea of just exactly how much uh, screen wobble we get with the minimum required amount of pressure to actually uh, utilize functionality. And so far things look uh, pretty good. And what we're going to do now is we are going to open up a pen app that utilizes the Surface Pen here. And we are going to uh, just do a couple of different pressure curves. I'm going to open up a new sketch, don't save. So at this point we are uh, using the surface pen. We're just making some very light strokes at this point. Let's do some very firm strokes. Those are very firm. And let's go, uh, if there's, there's such a thing, firmest. So what I'm doing is I'm pressing down pretty much as hard as I dare. And there we go. So we finally got the machine to lift, which was one of the things that I was uh, hoping to see. And I can also tell that uh, the Surface Book has moved. Maybe it wasn't at that back part of the hinge. So let's recalibrate that as close as we can to seven. And I'm going to hold down the Surface Book in, with one of my hands to stop it from moving. So, light strokes again. Medium stroke. And firm. And again, we'll use our finger at that point to do a little bit of navigation some windows closing. So if anything I would say that the hinge does not experience a great deal of actual movement and uh, we'll have to review the footage and you can be the judge for yourself. Have I found it to be annoying? No, honestly I haven't. Like the... I'm, I don't know, maybe call me forgiving. I don't use a lot of touch screens in, in computer or tablet form these days but this appears to be very, very functional. I'm not tapping the screen and waiting for it to uh, stop moving. That's uh, not my experience. So your biggest challenge is probably the fact that the feet of the computer are actually not um, grounding it as well as they could. They're not as sticky or providing enough resistance. Uh, because about every time I do these tests, I need to kind of recalibrate uh, the surface book on its angle. So looking at maximum flex, so this is just uh, the hinge flexing from rest. Looking at the screen, it looks like at maximum the hinge could flex up to half a centimeter. Uh, I would say any any more and you're putting undue, undue stress. So is there screen wobble? 
Sure, their screen wobble. Is it well within acceptable limits? Yes, I think so. Uh, will the screen really bounce or kind of go back and forth if you make it? Yeah, it's going to go back around half a centimeter, which is good because you want something to bend. You don't want it to break. Anyway, hopefully this has provided a little bit of a different kind of insight on, uh, you know, what's well, what, how bad is that screen wobble? Because, quite frankly, I don't really notice it. Anyway, if you want to see any more harebrained ideas or schemes with regards to the Surface Book 2, make sure that you're uh, leaving something in the comments down below there, and I will do my best to get an answer for you. And I shall see you later.